Oh, welcome. Today, I'm in Hinchley Wood. I was passing by the area, so I thought I'd pop in. I know a little bit about this area, so a little bit. So I'm at Telegraph Hill, which used to be some sort of fort. I think it was like bronze or iron age. And the first time I came over here years ago, I noticed that it sort of looks like there's ramparts and when I was reading a history book about the place it turns out that it was a hill fort and they found quite a lot of bits in an archaeological dig sort of arrowheads things like that so let's go and have a look around So just off over there, you can see the, the ramparts where they go up. You might be wondering why it's called Telegraph Hill actually. There used to be a telegraph on top of the house up here. There's a big white house with a tower. And off in the distance, there's Ruxley Tower, which had another one on the top. And they would communicate between each other. When we go up there, we'll be able to show you that. Just coming into view over here, we have, I believe it's called Semaphore House. And on top of there used to be the Telegraph, which then used to give its signals to Ruxley Tower. I'm not sure if they passed it on any further from there. It's now a private residence, probably has been for many years. And it does look amazing in the snow if you come up here. So off in the distance you've got Ruxley Tower. Part of the reason why I know about that place is because I used to walk my dogs here years ago. Originally with Poppy, my first dog, she was a Collie Husky cross, or mix, some sort, like that. Mostly Collie. Lots and lots of big shaggy fur. And then Kylo after that. And Candy as well, a little Chiwi we called her. Chiwi was better than Candy, Candy was a bit. And we would come up here and uh, Kylo would use the bins and the benches as little things to run over. Poppy, unfortunately, was quite old when we moved here, but uh, she used to come up here every day, most days, if we went somewhere else. <laughs> There's lots of good places if you like mountain biking. Mountain biking. BMXing, that's what they call it. So if you head over the hill, it takes you into the little village of Claygate. It's quite a nice little village, it's quite old. There's quite a few big names actually who live around there. So it's quite an exclusive area because you're not far from Isha and Molesy. So let's carry on having a look around and see what countryfied things we can find here so close to London. We've got some horses in the field here. Nice big open field as well. Now if I was to keep on going down this pathway, I would come out of here, take a right, walk up, and there's a public footpath you can walk up. Now it'll take you past some stables and through a golf course, and eventually you will emerge in Chessington, famous for the Chessington Model Adventures theme park. One of the other little local legends about the place is that apparently one of the machines or one of the forerunners of the machines that they used to dig the Channel Tunnel was tested going from Claygate underneath this hill. Don't know how true it is. Quite interesting though. I did hear that the entrance to the brickworks, or at the back of the brickworks is where the entrance to the tunnel was, but it's all been filled in. 
I wonder what's down there, if it is there. Hole of mystery. Now the forestry, or the trees, I suppose I should say. Yeah. So the trees here are mainly oak. With quite a lot of maple in, maple's quite a fast growing tree. And then there's also quite a few hollies and laurels, which are near to people's back gardens. So I assume that's probably where they've chucked their trimmings over the fence over the years. And we've got this huge oak here. That noise you can hear, that's the green parakeets that you get around here. They seem to be doing a bit of their own kind of murmuration, I think, flying all over the place up here. Looks like uh, some kids have been busy. Or bivvy. Oh dear. Terrible crest. <laughs> so it's only a little short one today. That takes us for a little wander around Telegraph Hill. Hope you liked it. Hope you'll subscribe, comment, even share the video. Maybe if you live in the town and you enjoyed the video and you're proud of your town, you might want to show a little bit of that off. So. For me, I'll be back next time with Lila and Buddy. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye bye. -bye. <laughs>